So that book ID goes to a class called book manager. In that class, as I have created a list of objects, okay, from that list I'll fetch one object, one particular object, and I'll pass that in the form of JSON string. Whole, whole. The object, my 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 pojo, my pojo essentially contains four members. I guess four, five. I guess exactly. I'll just right. I'll just show. folder okay so look at this part I have my book manager I will just showcase that so the book manager class it gets you it just creates four lists okay it creates a list which has four objects uh, five objects it has five book names okay information regarding books so i display those books over here so this is my in java it's just returning me a list okay the book uh, the, it has a method called get books which returns me a list okay and if i go down over here i'm displaying that i'm displaying all the contents of that book i'm iterating over it Okay. Now, once I iterate over it, I just have to display the values corresponding. So I just say object name dot get name, object whatever book dot get name, get publisher or get author, and it's just displayed over here. Now, once I move over that or hover over my name of the book, this is what gets called. Okay. This is a JavaScript function that I've written over here, and it gets passed the book ID. Okay, so look at this. It passes the book ID over here. So what it does is, when this event fires, Dojo has something called event handlers, which is in, in, the common types of two types. Basically, one is either load or error. Okay, so when it is loading, it does actually perform. Okay, it, it actually performs the backend things for you. So the complete JSON string is passed. Now, if, my, if I close this server in this case, the Apache server, it will throw me an error. Okay, so in that in that case, the type would be error. Okay, so I'll, I'll showcase that also uh, in a moment. So it comes over here, it gets the book ID. Okay, and once I get the book ID, I move to this method. Okay, this function. Now I create an array over here because it returns me string of it has name and value pairs so i just store it in the in the form of array in javascript okay so as i told you earlier regarding the bind arguments if i want to talk in in this ajax kind of thing i found talk to a page what i'm doing over here is i'm saying that yes this is my url book.jsp i'll show the code for this also uh, in a moment so the error if any error occurs what should i do i just should it's basically an alert is displayed okay and the mime type this is where the nitty gritty lies okay in the general world had we done this ajax using gwt or something else in the response say in case of servlet okay i would have written something like response dot set context type set content type as text slash xml okay now for such small thing why do we need an xml right you can either have annotations that is the part of jac but that again does not solve me a problem. It should be very easy. This kind of application should not take lots of time. It shouldn't be complex. So what I keep it is as JSON string, which is an option, as JSON is language independent. Okay. The point is that uh, JSON has something called JSON C for C. It has something for Perl. I don't remember the uh, exact uh, name for that a API. Then it has something for uh, the uh, .NET world. .NET geeks also use uh, JSON. I think it is known in the form of JSON connector. 
Okay, so you write some scripts. Um, I may be wrong on this, but I just have to. Uh, I just have to recheck this. But you write some script and then use the JSON connector on that script. So that is what uh, is, I guess, uh, the uh, .NET world that uses JSON. Okay.